there, Donna and Brian with Photonic Health. Today we wanted to chat with you about using red light therapy in conjunction with Equine Body Work. Yeah. Um, we use it as a primary modality, yes. but we also have a ton of practitioners um, that use it as an adjunct to their practice. So we've got veterinarians, we have chiropractors, we have orthobionomy people, we have master a ton of masters in people. We have massage therapists. Massage therapists. We have myofascial workers. Uh, and dentists. We have equine dentists that use our devices. We have farriers that of use our farriers. devices. Of course farriers. And so a lot of times people don't necessarily think of that, um, of using their lights before those practitioners show up. And we really advocate for that. So if you know that your equine dentist is coming, go out and illuminate your horse. 24 hours beforehand is absolutely fine, but it will help to have that equine dentistry work um, be better. Especially for the mouth. I mean, you do the TMJ area, the mouth resets itself. Now they're doing a balanced mouth versus an unbalanced mouth. And then you're balancing an unbalanced mouth. Correct. Think about that. Exactly. <laughs> so now it's a balanced, unbalanced mouth. <laughs> exactly. And so that's equine dentistry. From a bodywork perspective, whether it's one of those other modalities that we've talked about, if you go out and you illuminate your horse before that equine body worker shows up, what's going to happen is that body worker is going to be able to get. Deeper, deeper, I'll go deeper, yeah. Get deeper and really peel back the layers of that onion a lot quicker mm -hmm. than if you just did nothing and waited for them to show up. Right. If you've got the tool, you might as well use it. And we've had a lot of people that are so grateful um, and happy when their clients use their lights. Um, before these bodywork sessions um, because they can get their work done so much, I don't want to say faster, but... Well, it's faster and it's safer. And as an advanced equine podiatrist, I find oh, I'm using my lights all the time because as I go to a horse and, you know, farriers can tell right away when they pick up one leg versus another one and it's not right. So now the question is, is it in the foot or is it in the body? So by able to do a quick assessment, find out what's going on and take care of that pain, a lot of times the horse will allow me to finish. Or if I do have issues with the feet, we have like a laminitis protocol, a few other protocols that we can get the people to continue to do so that the feet get better. Uh, so gist of it is, is most horses that won't stand for the farrier, they won't stand because pain. they're in pain. Yeah. And so um, we see it all we see it all the time because Brian always gets the worst case scenarios and we always get the you're the last resort yep. on phone calls. And we show up and what is the problem is is that the horse is in pain. So a lot of times when I go out to a horse, and we've had quite a few of this recently, is that you find out that they're having some stomach issues and we just do a quick um, gastral check and it usually takes about less than two minutes to do the check and about five minutes to do the work. And also now you can be all over the horse and, and do all the farrier work you want to do without having to worry about getting kicked or them being in pain and having a uh, causing a, a um, training issue or any other kind of issue because you had to deal with it. Correct. Exactly. So um, so that's from a farrier perspective. Um, and let's chat about from an equine chiropractic perspective. Oh, yes. So we have <clears throat> several equine chiropractors that utilize our device. And several years ago, um, back in 2009, we actually conducted a clinical study on 30 racehorses. Mm -hmm. um, and throughout, through that, um, we had some of the horses ended up getting chiropractic. And so um, what happened was we had two groups. Oh, I know where you're going. 15 <laughs> horses. 15 horses that got illuminated, 15 horses that did not. So we had a control group that wasn't getting any light. Correct. Um, and everything was going great. 
and we were towards the end of our study and um we were doing a hyoid release hi yeah it was specific to hyoid and what ended up happening and we'd go in every time and we would do an assessment and we would assign the reactivity level and number and and then we would just do just the hyoid release and then we would you know collect the data and then come back and we were towards the end of our six weeks we did this we collected data for six weeks it was a pretty extensive study and towards the end of six weeks we showed up one day the owner didn't say anything to us and several of the horses that were getting illuminated all of a sudden their reactivity level was like 10 like it was off the charts and we were like what happened <laughs> like what happened did you race some like was there a new trainer somebody fall down what happened and the equine chiropractor had come out and had adjusted them now i firmly believe that chiropractic has its place mm -hmm. i'm a firm believer in it um but to see the reactions on those horses after the adjustment was pretty eye-opening and so then we really started investigating that a lot more and um, Dr. Charles Bailey is an equine chiropractor we've had several equine chiropractors that have our devices and what they have found is if they illuminate the horse before they do their adjustment that pain level goes down to almost nothing right and so it's a and the whole reason we have a chiropractor or a body worker come out is what to so, get our horses out of pain right and so chiropractic has its place and sometimes it's absolutely needed um, and so to set your horse up for success if you do have body workers come out if you have equine chiropractors come out your farrier your equine dentist illuminate take 20 minutes illuminate your horse he's gonna thank you for it and so is that professional and you're gonna it's gonna really stretch your money a lot further mm -hmm. than if you were to not use your device correct